Hey, good morning, guys. I just want to bring some valid points here to you and show you some articles. So Iraq kept telling us that the borrowing law was for salaries. I kept telling you that was bull crap and that the borrowing law is actually for reforms, not salaries. Let's look at something here. Right here, they're shooting themselves in the foot. So here's an article for you guys. It's about the borrowing law, okay? And they say, it says right here in this article, guys, is, let me see, so you can see the date right there. It's from 1124, okay? The article is called The Iraqi Government to Address the Financial Borrowing Law Problems. Well, remember, guys, if the borrowing law was just for salaries like they told you, how does it have a lot of problems with it? Just think about that. Let's look at what the article says. Prime Minister Kadami said on Tuesday that the fiscal deficit law contains problems that his government is working to address. Kadami said in a speech during his opening cabinet session, investing is our priority and the government is keen to facilitate all problems for investors. We are working to maximize state revenues and provide the best services to citizens. Well, let's look at something here. They just made two key comments in this. They said they're working, okay, to, to facilitate procedures for investors. And they're working th to provide the best services for citizens, guys. Those are reforms. Services for citizens are reforms. That's not salary paychecks. Those are not salaries, okay? Services for citizens is reforms, okay? New health care, that kind of thing, okay? Opportunities for investors, guys. I'm sorry, that doesn't have, well, according to what Iraq told you, that has nothing to do with salaries, which is supposedly what they kept telling you the borrowing law was for. So right now they're telling you they need to address problems in the borrowing law so they can make sure that they provide the best procedures for investors and best services for citizens, guys. Both of those items are, are, are actually reforms. Boom. There you guys go. Like I told you. You guys see the title? The Iraqi government to address financial problems in the borrowing law. Right here, they're telling you guys that the borrowing law is for the reforms. Bull crap, Iraq. You know that your borrowing law is simply for the reforms, not for the salaries you lied. We win. There you guys go. Proved it to you right here that the borrowing law is for the reforms and doesn't have a damn thing to do with salaries. There you guys go. Nailed it. So, and remember, like I told you yesterday, they only passed the borrowing law, guys, to be able to pay reforms and make a one-time reform payment just for one quarter. Think about that carefully. That's why they only borrowed approximately ten billion U.S. dollars worth of money. Okay, it was actually twelve trillion Iraq dinar was the exact dinar amount of that borrowing law. But here you guys go. Here's factual proof. It's for the reform, guys. And okay, and then again, that's why they did not do the 2020 budget. They did the borrowing law because they just needed enough reform money to make a a or to get to get enough funding in place to make a single reform payment for one quarter. And I want you to think about something carefully. When is it that the reforms officially start? Mid January. So again. Because Iraq did tell us that they do have to make a reform payment, okay, pretty much they have to make the reform payment in Q in what is their Q4, okay, from January through March, guys. That's when the that's when the reform starts. So that's also when their that's when the reform payment will be due, and guys. Remember, they have to change the rate before that payment can be made. They've confirmed to us 
that they have to change the rate now. This is confirmation to you. They, they Through all of this, through all these actions with the borrowing law, because they're telling you they have to make a reform payment during their Q4 period, they're also telling you that the rate has to change by the end of by the end of their fiscal year of 2020. Okay, so the Iraq's telling you here, confirming to you, they have to change rate anytime between now and the end of March, which is their fiscal year. That's what they've shown you in this. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, prove to you factually that the borrowing law doesn't have anything to do with the reforms. Like they're telling you this right here, guys. This these services for citizens and procedures for investors, guys. This is pure reforms. And right here, and they mentioned they link all this to the borrowing law. They've been lying to you. Boom. There you go. Right there before your eyes. Now, one thing I want to stress to you guys is typically when they tell you stuff, it typically takes a rack about 90 days before they actually do stuff. Okay, again, I want to stress something to you. When a rack tells you they're working on something, it typically takes them about 90 days to do stuff and get it done. That's their average, okay? Let's look at this article. al Darahi demands the central bank to adopt a real rate of the Iraq dinar. Mohammed Sela called on the central bank to adopt the real price of the Iraq dinar away from the prices offered in the currency auction. Dorahi said in a tweet on his Twitter page Tuesday, the central bank must adopt a real price for the dinar away from the breaches of the window of selling the notorious currency. He also called for disclosing bills and documentary credits provided by banks in exchange for transferring hard currency abroad and checking their credibility. al Durahi said, or stressed that the bank's felt Bank's failure to do so is that is considered an accomplice in the crime and we will have to resort to legal methods to remedy this defect. The window of selling the currency for the central bank faces many criticisms. While leaks stated that a number of banks acquire the amounts that are being traded in the currency auction for the purpose of of increasing their profits so anyway guys there you go Iraq has now proven to you factually that they've been lying to you and that the borrowing law was nothing was for nothing more than the reforms guys I'm glad the cat's out of the bag now so but there you guys go again guys the reforms notice how they're starting those reforms in Q in what is their Q4 okay that's also when that payment's due. Very simply, and again, the borrowing law was just a funding source put in place to because it's a it's a small amount of money that was borrowed. It, it's simply just a just a small amount of money to make a single one time reform payment that is due by the end of the year, and that confirms they have to physically change the rate by the end of their 2020 fiscal year. So they're confirming to you they have to change rate by the end of March for their fiscal year of 2020. Because, you know, again, their fiscal years go April through March. Hey, God bless you guys. Have a great Thanksgiving and have a, take care and have a great day.